Hey everybody, it's Eden from Lemon Nerdy, and today I'm doing my very first book review for season two. I have brand new dork diaries, brand new girls who code, and I'm ready to review all of them for you. So today I'm reviewing Dork Diaries number nine, Tales of a Not So Dorky Drama Queen by Rachel Brene Russell. I've read almost all of the diaries leading up to it. There's not that many spoilers in any of them, so if you need to, you can skip around because it's kind of hard to find them at the library since people check them out all the time because they're really popular. In this one, Mackenzie steals Nikki's diary and reads all of her entries and starts writing in it herself. And she's trying to get Nikki suspended because she thought that Nikki put a bug in her hair and someone videotaped it at the school and was showing it to everyone. And then Mackenzie wasn't popular anymore and everyone was laughing at her. So she wanted to transfer to a new school and get Nikki suspended for her revenge. I love this book. It's a really easy read and it didn't take me very long. So I finished it in about two or three days. It was really, really, really good. The pictures actually, they change a little bit when Mackenzie starts writing and the handwriting because usually it looks like this. After Mackenzie takes it, it looks like that. So the drawing is different and the handwriting is different and the cover is cheer print because Mackenzie, to disguise the diary so Nikki wouldn't know that she stole it, she put leopard print fabric over it from a blouse that she had and she cut it up and put it all over the front so that Nikki wouldn't find it. But when she was leaving the school, she dropped it out of one of her boxes and Nikki found it and she took the cover that Mackenzie made off and found out that it was her diary. I really love this book. You can get it on Amazon in the links below, or you can get it at your local library or at a bookstore. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other Dork Diaries book reviews. Bye! It's Eden. Today, I'm going to be showing you a walkthrough of one of my newest games on Scratch, Lemonade Stand Lemon Fun. So, in this game, you have your own lemonade stand, and you get to sell lemonade and do all kinds of cool stuff. You can buy new um, flavors. So, I'm going to press the green flag up here to start. A new day is coming. Da -da -da -da. Hey, I'm Tina. I'll be your assistant at your lemonade stand. I've had plenty of my own before, so I'll be showing you the ropes and helping you with purchases. I'll invest $10 to start you off. So the money goes up there. Your only menu item is regular lemonade for now. To open and close your menu, press the M key. If you need something, just ask me. What's your shop name? So, I'm going to name my shop hmm, Lemonerdy. So my shop name shows up there. And to change the price of my lemonade, I just use the slider down there. So there's a new day. First, we need to check the weather. If the weather is bad, end the day. No one will buy if the weather is bad. Click the check weather button. So as you can see, it's very rainy. The sky is dark. So I don't think anyone's going to be buying lemonade today. So let's press end day. Yay! So today is sunny! So that means it's a great day to sell lemonade. So I'm gonna price my lemonade at. Let's see. a dollar. Then I'm gonna press Tina to start selling. I could say shop, sell, start selling, or go shopping. So I'm gonna press. I'm gonna put in start selling. What type of lemonade are you selling today? I'm selling classic. Lemonade. The cost of lemonade is 15 cents to make, so I want to make 15 cups since it's a good day, and, I'll, and I'm probably going to sell all of them. Ooh, I sold one. So the number keeps going down for all the cups I sell, and then my money goes up. Up here. 
And then I have this cool little cha-ching sound effect -ching, that I made for every cup you sell. It just keeps going down until all of them are sold. And then the money just adds up up here. Okay, so now I have $20.50. I sold all 15 cups. Cool. Time for a new day. Oh, it's raining. So, maybe I don't want to waste a day. So, I could go shopping. Let's see, I'm going to press type in shop. And now I'm at the Lemon Mart. So, I have $20. So, I could buy a flavor, or I could buy a new stand. I think I'm going to buy a new flavor. Blackberry, lime, strawberry, or watermelon. Let's try some lime lemonade. Thank you for shopping. When you buy a flavor or a new stand, at your stand, click either the stand or the picture. Then it will change to any items you have bought. To view the items you've bought, press the I key. I press I, so I have classic lemonade, lime and stand one since i just bought the lime so i'll press i again to make it go away i'll go back i have lime lemonade so let's try to go the next day and see what we sell okay so today's partly cloudy a little bit sunny so that's a good day to sell lemonade i'm gonna try to sell my lime so i'm going to sell lime and I'm oh it costs 30 cents to sell special lemonade so since it costs 30 cents how about I raise my price to three dollars for lemonade and I'll make 20 cups so I have four dollars left and it looks like it's selling pretty well and I'm making a lot more money at a time because I raised my price three dollars Basically, that's the entire game. You can also buy new stands, and you can build your lemonade empire, and get more and more moolah, and sell, and buy, and it's really fun. It took me a long time to make. So, you can play this game yourself on Scratch. Just follow me, CodeCat123, and you can see all of my projects. And you can play this game. It's called Lemonade Stand Lemon Fun. You can make your own lemonade stand and name it whatever you want. If you want to see how I made it, please make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the code that it took to make all of this possible. In Scratch, they actually have a new version called Scratch 3.0 that looks a little bit different, so I had to change some of it. But this is some of the code that I used, and I'll show you guys how I did all of it in my next Scratch walkthrough. Bye! I had no idea you were there, buddy. So, I was thinking maybe you and I could get together sometime, you know, as friends. Maybe go bowling. I don't know if you wanted to go catch a movie or I don't know. No. No, 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 no. that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I mean, there's Thursday. I'm free. Um, my schedule's pretty tight. Um, I'm going golfing with Steve tomorrow. <laughs> right, Steve? My name is Jeff, and I don't know who you are. Hey, <laughs> you're such a kidder, Steve. No, I'm not. I mean, it's not like I bought tickets or, or matching t-shirts or anything like that. Uh, we can reschedule. I'm, I'm free tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. And the day after that. The day after that. Bob? I cannot believe you made that. It was so
so close. Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. Dang it, it went down the alley. Let me try again. Oh yes, I made it! Wow, Bob, this is so fun. We should do this every weekend. You want a hot dog? I'm gonna go get us some hot dogs. And don't forget our matching t-shirts. Next week, we'll wear our matching t-shirts. They're in my car! I know you can't wait to see them. I bet you're practically spilling with excitement. Right, Bob? a bunch of pieces because this is the starter pack. You get to pick two weapons, a ship, and a pilot. And they all come to life in the game. You use them to defend the Atlas star system from the evil Forgotten Legion. Dun dun dun! I'll be playing the game with my brother David. I only have one starter pack.